came across a story in the eye dated the 31st of August um, about the partner of Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney and he's a television presenter in Italy um, well he was responding to discussion around a controversial crime in Palermo where a young woman apparently was gang raped um, and basically he's got heat and he's been accused of victim blaming um, rape victims um, but a lot of people are saying well hold on a second he isn't actually doing that and he wasn't doing that with his statement um, a lot of feminists in Italy have jumped on it and said have vilified him said he's victim blaming I'm going to read out the exact quote which is what he said and assuming there, this is all there is to it in terms of what he said in terms of his um, response to this then I think it's um, it's very unfair to accuse him of victim blaming and I want to um, discuss that a little bit wider but this is the quote if you go dancing you have every right to get drunk there shouldn't be any kind of misunderstanding and any kind of problem but if you avoid getting drunk and losing your senses you might also avoid running into certain problems and coming across a wolf that's Andrea uh, Gianbruno, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, who's the partner of Giorgia Maloney and an Italian television presenter. Now, this isn't a case of a mistranslation because it, the controversy is within Italy. So it's not like outsiders have misunderstood and it's been mistranslated. That was once the situation with, um, or at least an alleged mistranslation, that was the situation once with uh, the controversial former Philippines president, Rodrigo Duterte, who infamously boasted about wanting to be the first to gang rape a woman as mayor, and he had to make a grovelling apology, and he claimed it was a mistranslation. But this isn't the same situation because the controversy is within Italy, so um, I assume that translation is correct. What I'm actually looking at is we on use the Indian network. Um, so, you know, based on that statement, there is absolutely nothing there that would rationally suggest victim blaming. What he seems to be saying is if you're drunk, you're vulnerable. Now, can anyone reasonably deny that? Can feminists honestly say that if someone is drunk, okay, we're talking about women here, but it could be men as well, you know, um, if someone is drunk, can all... Can anyone honestly say they're not more vulnerable? Because they are, by definition. You lose your inhibitions, you lose the certainness of your surroundings. But nowhere has he said that young women um, deserve to be raped because they've had too many drinks. Um, I remember an incident when I was at university. Um, I, I basically had drank too much, I was drunk. Um, I was in a nightclub and I had my camera, it was a digital camera. Um, I forget the occasion, I think it was someone's birthday or something, so I was taking some pictures and basically my camera got stolen. Now, I remember the next day going to the club and um, it was daytime and the, the owner sort of let me in and had a look around and he said, oh, a number of cameras were stolen last night. So obviously someone had taken advantage of drunk people. And, you know, I, I hadn't been paying attention. Probably it was, I, I don't know, it must have been in the in the pocket of my um, coat or whatever the situation was but I was pretty angry obviously and angry with the thief but also angry at myself now if a woman has too much to drink and she gets raped obviously it's only the rapist to blame and I don't think he has said otherwise but you know more often than not when uh, people take this sort of position when they advocate for being careful then it's 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 distorted into victim blaming victim blaming would insinuate you're saying that the the victim of a crime is to blame for what happened to them that's absurd clearly he wasn't saying that i'm going to read this out again okay just so we're very clear if you go dancing you have every right to get drunk there shouldn't be any kind of misunderstanding and any kind of problem but if you avoid getting drunk and losing your senses you might also avoid running into certain problems and coming across a wolf. A wolf. So he's not saying, you know, the rapist was 
turned on by their victims or something. He's saying he's calling the rapist a wolf. He's saying that person is a predator. Um, now, of course, women can be raped, unfortunately, in different circumstances. You know, she could be completely sober and at home. But I do think it degrades the, frankly, the seriousness of this problem by just dismissing it as victim blaming. Um, is there not a case to be made that, um, you know, it's just common sense advice? Common sense. I mean, I remember um, various police forces have gotten hot water for similar things, basically um, telling people to be aware of their surroundings. Now, likewise, they were accused of victim blaming. Um, I think, frankly, some feminists weaponize this and they jump on board things and maybe in some cases deliberately distort it. Um, even the I in their report. Um, so this is a good example of media distortion. To avoid the this cold-headed sort of, uh, you know, it's your own fault. Then you look at the small details, the small print, uh, that article's by Alfis Amelini and Keith Weir. You know, terrible headline. And maybe, I know how journalism works, maybe they didn't use that headline. Maybe, you know, sometimes editors pick the headline. But it's a good example of distortion. That would imply that he was just being an ass and sort of saying what you want for. But he didn't actually say that. Um, so this man's being unfairly vilified simply for stating the obvious. The fact is, if you're drunk, you lose inhibitions, you're not so familiar with your surroundings, you get more careless. But that doesn't mean it's your fault if a terrible crime happens to you. The only people to blame for rape are rapists. That's common sense. Now, there are people out there um, who will blame the victim. They will say, oh, it's because of what she was wearing or uh, she turned him on or something. That's absurd. And that is grotesque. And it is right that they face, you know, a backlash. But I think it's wrong to say that simply issuing common sense advice is somehow, you know, um, victim blaming. Uh, it's it's ridiculous. So let me know your thoughts. Um, but I think personally, it's been taken out of context, and I'm not the only one looking at the comments on this. Almost everyone was saying he's right. He's simply stating the facts. Now the fact that he's a man again, feminists will jump on that. They'll say, "Oh, he's a man. What does he know?" Well, put it this way: if you let's say you go into a gay club, right, and uh, a man gets drunk. He could be a victim of a, of a, you know, predator in a, in that situation. We had a serial killer a few years ago in Britain, Stephen Port, who killed gay men. Um, and again, it's a question of you know you have someone who's targeting vulnerable people. In their case, they were young men. Um, they were all, I believe, found dead in a graveyard. I don't want to muddy the waters too much. I'm not saying it's exactly the same situation, but. Um, Men can also be in vulnerable situations if they've had too much to drink. Um, you know, they could actually be victims of honey traps. There's been many situations where men have been misled by attractive young women and then mugged by a gang or something, often when they've had a few drinks. So anyone who's had too many drinks is automatically in a more vulnerable situation. Now, of course, someone could be a victim of crime when they're sober and when they're, you know, uh, no one's saying otherwise, but I think it's just common sense that if you're drunk, you're more vulnerable. And I speak from experience. Had I not been drunk in that club, maybe my camera still would have been stolen, but I would have been more assertive. And I would have maybe known if someone was reaching into my pocket. Maybe, maybe not. You know, maybe they were a very skilled thief and they would have got away with it regardless. But I do know that the fact that I wasn't, I mean, I was blind drunk that night, you know. I, I never had an alcohol problem, but I drank too much at uni. And, um, yeah, I know that had I been a bit more assertive, maybe maybe it wouldn't have happened. But, you know, it still doesn't mean it's my fault. It's the thief's fault. It's the person who decided to steal my camera. 
Anyway, let me know your thoughts. But I, I think it's unfair how this man's being vilified for simply stating the obvious. And I think that feminists are weaponizing it. You know, they should direct their anger towards the rapists, not people who are simply saying, uh, you know, if you're more drunk, you're going to be more vulnerable because it's just common sense.